مرحبا وياكم دكتور سنان عدنان اختصاص جراحة العظام والمفاصل من ألمانيا اليوم راح نتحدث عن موضوع مهم وهو cranial nerves and you know that the cranial nerves are the direct nerves from the brain and these nerves are responsible for any visceral and motor in the head, neck as well as the viscera in the abdomen and thorax usually they are 12 in number and as we said it can transfer from the brain into the whole body now, we will start, in order to remind this, O, 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 to take a family vacation, go Vegas after hours. هذه الجملة كل حرف من عدها لح ناخذ أسامي النفس. أول كلمة اللي هي O, it's called olfactory nerve. And you see that the olfactory nerve is from the olfactory tract and the bulb. And it causes to smell. This is a sensory one. The second one is the optic nerve. It's also sensory and responsible for our vision by our eyes. And this nerve comes in next. The third nerve is called in the other O, which is called oculomotor from its name. It's only motor and it's responsible for the motor supply of all muscles in the eye except two. And we will see that later. You can see the fourth nerve in the word two is the trochlea and it's pure motor because it supplies the superior oblique muscle and here you can take a capture or a screenshot in order to remind this the fifth nerve here we called it intake the trigeminal which has the three branches ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular and it has both motor and sensory the sixth nerve here, it's also in the eye, which is motor in A, abducent nerve, which is responsible to supply the lateral rectus muscle. If it is injured, we have an internal sequent. Here we have a note and a bonus tip for you. All muscles of the eye are supplied by the oculomotor nerve, except SO4 and LR6. SO4, superior obliquus muscle, by trochlea, and LR6, lateral rectus, by abducent, or the sixth nerve. Number seven, we have the family, which is the facial nerve. And the facial nerve, by itself, it has both sensory and motor. You have temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular, cervical nerve. These are motor. And we have sensory for the face also, and the mandible. You can see it here in this picture. And it is very important nerve. Now you can also take a picture for this in order to remind ourselves. Now, in number eight, this is very this is an important nerve inside the ear, which is called infication vestibulocochlear nerve. It has two major parts: vestibular nerve and cochlear nerve for the cochlea. And it has very important figure in the auditory canal. Now, in number nine, this nerve is also important for us, which is called the glossopharyngeal nerve. From its name, it is the major supply of the pharynx and part of the palate. And you can see here we have the carotid branch also. The longest nerve in this cranial nerve is the tenth one, as in vagus, it is the vagus nerve which has both sensory and motor. It has multiple branches for the head and neck, pharyngeal, laryngeal branch, and we have the pulmonary plexus and all viscera of the abdomen, including liver, kidney, and spleen. In number 11, we have the accessory nerve, and it's a pure motor. And this scheme, you can see the accessory nerve by its, uh, by its color, the red and uh, the green, the green is for the spinal accessory nerve from C1 to C5, and you can see that all the nerves here. Also, you can take a picture. The last but not least is number 12. And number 12 is that the hypoglossal nerve, and this nerve is uh, an important motor supply for the tongue and the soft tissue below it, or inferior to it. Now, if you can take a picture for these all and if you like it you can have a like button in the website in our website of the YouTube 
and for all the videos that you can see it in our channel you can go for the ring button in order to uh, supply all the uh, the videos here and of course you can subscribe for more videos if you want to see it thank you very much have a nice day